as i said earlier in the definition there is hypertrophic as well as hyperplastic in hyperplasia there is increase in number of fat cells just the fat cell increases in number but the size is not altered but in hypertrophy the size increases and the fat cells become pathological this is more harmful there is increase in size but your fat cells are totally dysplastic if you look at hyperplasia the number of fat cell is increase your free fatty acid is release is decrease adiponectin is increase most important thing is your pro inflammatory cytokine is decrease therefore your immune cell recruitment is decrease there is decreased hypoxia and fibrosis and the insulin sensitivity is maintained but in hypertrophy your cell size is increased your free fatty acid release is increased your adiponectin is coming down pro inflammatory cytokine is increase which might lead to lot of disease condition your immune cell recruitment is increased hypoxia sets in fibrosis is increased and most important thing is there is insulin resistance now coming to a another classification which is central and peripheral the central obesity is also called as android obesity it is apple shape and it is called upper body obesity above the waist here you can see the obesity is mostly above the waist and it is called visceral fat obesity coming to peripheral obesity it is called gynecoid because of the shape and it is called pear shaped obesity here the obesity is on the lower body it is not upper body it is lower body and it is mostly subcutaneous fat the central obesity is dangerous and peripheral obesity is less dangerous now coming to another classification subcutaneous or visceral obesity in subcutaneous the fats get deposited in the subcutaneous part that is subcutaneous obesity in visceral obesity the fat get deposited in the visceral part and it slowly expands so it affects the visceral organ this is visceral obesity in subcutaneous obesity there will be anti inflammatory adipokines so it gives protection against inflammation diabetes mellitus and cardiovascular disease but in visceral obesity there is increased pro inflammatory adipokinases and what happens is there is increased diabetes mellitus metabolic syndrome and cardiovascular disease 